In this video, you will see how to do a continuity test on a single phase induction motor. For this test, you will need a multimeter. To start with, make sure that you set it to the correct setting to measure resistance. So set it to the ohm setting. We need to test the resistance between each post in the terminal box. We have numbered the posts 1 through 6. We start by measuring the resistance between post 1 and 2. We get an infinite reading, indicating an infinite amount of resistance. In other words, no connection between post 1 and 2. Now we measure the resistance between post 1 and 3. Again, we get an infinite reading indicating no connection. We continue by testing between posts 1 and 4. Again, no connection between the posts. We continue testing, this time between posts 1 and 5. And this time, we get a resistance reading. In this case, it is 5.6 ohms. This indicates that there is continuity between posts 1 and 5. We need to make a note of this reading on a diagram of the terminal box. We finish this round of testing by testing for continuity between posts 1 and 6. We can see that there is no continuity. We start the next round of testing by testing between posts 2 and 3. There is no continuity. There is no continuity between posts 2 and 4 or between posts 2 and 5. But there is continuity between posts 2 and 6. We get a reading of 4.0 ohms. We add this result to our diagram, noting that the resistance reading is lower than the previous one. We begin the next round of testing starting with post 3. We find that there is continuity between post 3 and 4. We get a reading of 0 0.6 ohms. We mark this result on our diagram. There is no continuity between posts 3 and 5, nor between 3 and 6. Looking back at our diagram, we can now identify the start winding, the run winding, and the centrifugal switch. The start winding made from thinner gauge wire will always have the highest resistance. The centrifugal switch will always have the lowest resistance, close to zero, and the run winding will be the reading in between, but normally must be closer in value to the start winding than the centrifugal switch. We can now fill the results of our continuity tests in on a Moto Test 4. Everything is as we expect it to be, so we can mark each test as pass or acceptable.